I'm exposed to death on a daily basis. Pretty much we see people die almost every day. Right? And it reminds you, it's, very, it's a very powerful reminder. But there have been instances where I've had to tell people, where I've had to call family members and tell them that your loved one or you yourself, medically, there is absolutely nothing we can do. You have what's called a terminal illness, a terminal condition. And a terminal illness or a terminal condition is one in which it's a disease process that will take your life and there's nothing we can do about it. Some people have been given, I literally, we expect and Allah knows best, but we tell them what, from what we know, you may have three hours to live. You may have two months to live. Imagine you're this person, you've been told you have a few weeks to live. Life changing obviously. And what would you do? What would you change? How would you react? If you were told you had five days to live, five days, you'll probably call everyone in your family and your friends and ask for forgiveness. Not just ask, beg for forgiveness. Any debts you have, pay it off. Salat al-Fajr in the masjid, I'm going to be there. Donations, you don't have to ask me twice. Dua sincerely from my heart. Maybe the first time in my life that I've ever prayed and tears have flown from my eyes. Maybe the first time because now it sets in. The reality that Muhammad knew when he would be crying in the night with his feet swollen and saying, Ummati, Ummati, when he would cry for us and we never cried for our own selves, now when we realize we have five days left, tears will flow. Tears will flow. But these tears will be tears of, of warmth. Because see, we may cry, people cry, but our tears often are tears of, of cold. And what do I mean by that? The effects of the tears are gone within the time it's dried off your cheeks. And you're back to being the same person you were. The tears of warmth are tears that when they flow, your heart changes. It brings life to the heart. It brings a new life to the heart. A joy of feeling that you're close to Allah, you're talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine the quality of the dua of this person knowing that he has five days to live. And this brother who was told he has a terminal illness amongst us today, what does he tell his wife? What does he tell his children? I mean, it's like your life has changed. And I'm actually going to expose that person. I'm going to expose that person. That person is actually you. You all have a terminal illness. I have a terminal illness. And you know what that is? It's life. Not in the negative sense. Life isn't negative, but in the sense that every day that passes is a day closer to your end. That's what a terminal illness is. It takes your life. Every time your heart beats, is a heartbeat closer to death. Hassan Basri says, your life is just a, num a count a number of breaths. Every time you breathe, you're one breath closer to your death. But the question is this. My question to you today is this. Why is it that if the doctor tells you you have five days to live, or the doctor tells you you have a terminal illness, you're willing to change your life? But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you you have a terminal illness, you ignore it. Allah says, every soul, we translate it as will taste death. But Allah doesn't say every soul will taste death. He doesn't say, Kullu nafsin satadukul maut. He says, Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut. And dha'iqah is ismu fa'al, something in the Arabic language that signifies progression. Allah is telling you that you are all, I, all of us, every soul is tasting that. Is tasting that. But why is it that we don't change when Allah tells us this, but we do when a human being tells us this?